emotions for Cali and Arizona last season mm. in terms of the relationship and the baby and the accident arc. How did you guys prepare for this? Did you have any extra rehearsals together? <laughs> I had a baby. <laughs> immeasurably talented and, and as are obviously as you saw tonight so many people on the, the show and so we started getting tidbits I think probably I first pulled it out of Tony just what was going to happen in the musical episode and then we started working with a vocal coach and for me that was where the story, their story kind of mostly came together and so we did have to rehearse we had to you know go to vocal coaches outside of work and and we you know when we first did Universe and You in a you know in a room and Know, at a vocal coach's house in West Hollywood, and you could hear her voice and my voice, which is great. <laughs> circumstances where you know the emotions flew and it was just all about the words and saying them and sometimes it was you know things were jimmy rigged and over all over the place and you had no idea how you were to come up with what you were supposed to do so i think that that was what it was like for me yeah i um <laughs> you know okay everybody's heard me talk about this at nauseam at work but at, at nauseam and I, I lost my best friend to cancer like many many years ago and i was working on the show at the time so after that, my life kind of changed in a big way, and, and, and Jessica actually joined the show like right after that, and so she had to deal with me grieving every single day, and uh, going through a very, very difficult process, so bless your heart for that. Um, but leading up to this episode, I actually got violently ill. Uh, I got a virus that was going around, whatever, and I was down for the count for like a week or two or something, and production was kind enough to let me heal and get better, and it was during that time that I had, a, I had an opportunity to really just kind of reflect on all of it, and, and Realize that this musical episode is actually a really great opportunity to delve real deep into you know what life and death really are about, and it was a very spiritual journey, and I was completely self-involved the entire time, and I was, <laughs> I was. And, uh, and and so a lot of that for me was kind of a, a real cathartic uh, personal journey actually, and uh, but it was great to have Jessica as a partner because she is so giving and so present, and so talented. So uh, so for me it, it went beyond just. The telling of the story on the TV show, it, it was pretty deep, uh, especially, you know, when my fiancé had to watch me dying on, on screen, <laughs> that was not fun. Um, but, you know, you go there, you do the work and you go there and you imagine what that would be like, and, uh, and we did it. So. But, but, you know, you can't know what's happening behind the scenes, but during the musical episode, we had to have, we, let, we recorded all of it, and then we'd have playback. And the only challenging moment was, if you remember, when Arizona is bent over Callie's bed, mm -hmm. thinking that she's a <laughs> for sure. And Callie comes back with the most amazing song Woo! and everything else. Woo! And they had to play it. And it was really loud. <laughs> and I was meant to not hear it. <laughs> and be bent over a hospital bed. <laughs> so when you see me shaking, because I'm meant to be probably crying, which I'm sure I was on a couple takes. I'm also trying not to laugh because it's so loud that I'm like being shaken out of this bed. And I think that's funny. <laughs> if I remember correctly, there was one take when I had to go up to her and say, you're, you're kind of bopping to the music. <laughs> Sandra, Billy, 